So good day crafty chums, it's Nikki here aka Carson Decat's Life and I hope you're all well today. Today we're going to make uh, an envelope flip book and this is um, the thing that you send uh, for happy mail and things like that. You just fill it full of goodies and whatever and whatever. So um, what you're going to need is four envelopes, the size of your choice and some paper to do um, to uh, um, decorate it with and maybe make some pockets with and a little bit of this and a little bit of that but anyway never done one before so this is a first for me as well and yeah we're gonna have a little bit of a fun while we're doing it shall we so you'll need the four envelopes and what you're going to do first is as I say it's going to be any size envelope you want is so that um, we can add a little bit of dimension to it we're going to just score it an eighth of an inch so are we going to put this on the two there and I'm going to score down there just an eighth of an inch so that you can have a little bit of dimension and you know goodies into the um, into the uh, envelope and whatever so I've already um, to speed up the process etc etc I've already put some tape down onto the envelopes and I hope I've done it all in the right place you yeah, know you know how it is first time you do it you can actually uh, get it all in the wrong place but hey ho hey ho hey ho Decided to stay away from the glue from the glue gun for a walk. <laughs> oh dear! After burning myself so nicely the other day, it's all healed up now, though you know. But it did sting for quite a while afterwards. It wasn't very pleasant. It wasn't pleasant at all. It did hurt. <laughs> so yeah, screwing this up at an eighth of an inch. And uh, and that's it for the four. And I'll just show you how you put them together now. Okay, so what we're going to do is you get an envelope and you're going to put it to the score line. Can you see the score line there? And just butt it up to the score line. I'm just popping that behind just to help me see because when of course when you've got the video camera you have to do things from a distance away and it just makes it a little bit more difficult so what I'm going to do is do it at a distance we'll take the um, tape cover off these you can tell when I've been doing mixed media a lot of mixed media work because what happens is um, I lose my nails <laughs> And you know, after I get all the paint and gunk and things on there, so I lose a lot of my nails. Okay, so what we're going to do is just pop this down as close to the edge as we can. Probably just going to um, Oh, it's not working. Okay, so what we're going to do is just pop this as close to the edge as we can and get it as straight as we can as well. So that's one. As you can see there, it's got that little bit of a um, of a gap there to make it a little bit easier. What we're going to do next is add another one, another one. Take the paper tape off here. Yeah, lost the nails. <laughs> Got a bit of white on there because I was putting the tape on and mucked it up, ripped the tape off, and then uh, and then ripped some of the paper as well. But I thought it wouldn't matter because it's hiding behind the. Um, Oh look, that's going to be uh, that's going to be out. That's going to be slightly off that one. Never mind. So as you can see, that's got the little fold there as well. I 
And this is the last one here. Sorry, I don't know whether you can see that, but the bit is sort of moving, gyrating it is, because the uh, wind's up the chuff or from the back on the stern and it sort of gives the boat a horrible corkscrewy motion. It's not very pleasant. I don't like it when the wind is up the um, from the back. Okay, so we'll pop this one on here, just go into the score line as well. Like that. There's the flap there. And uh, when you close it over, it'll go like that. Make a nice little booklet thing. Like so. There we go. Not bad, huh? Um, so what we're going to do is, um, you'll have a front and a back. So if you think about it, this will be the front and uh, this one will be the back. So um, I've cut my paper to size, of course, you'll, paper, you'll cut your paper to whatever size your envelopes are. So I'm not going to give you measurements because you might have different size envelopes to me. And uh, of course I've got no fingernails left. <laughs> Darn it. No fingernails. It's almost impossible to lift this when you haven't got any fingernails left. Okay. Front, back. Centre it up as much as you can. My um, paper is only six inches high. It's only six inches long and it's a six by six. So as you can see, I've um, got a, quite a little bit of border around there because uh, the paper isn't as high as uh, the envelopes or as long as the envelopes. So I've got that one there. I think I'm going to put this one here. It's a nice pattern paper, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is just uh, continue on putting on the um, papers and, uh, and then decorate it up. I've just pulled the tape right up on that corner there but it's stepped back down so that's good. Try to centre this one up as much as I can. That one will go like that. As you can see here now, as you come into the inside, um, what you get is the the envelope like that. Now you can either uh, do it so that the paper covers it and closes up the envelope or you can do it so that um, you leave yourself a little pocket there. Um, I'm going to choose to cover this over and close the little um, the little pocket. You know you can you can leave it open to so you can put more things in there if you want to but as I say I've decided not to do that. So I'm just going to close it all up. Thank you. 
so as you can see now this forms the basis uh, or the base of your um, envelope flip book and uh, you've got the one two three four sides on there and the one two three four sides on the back as well and then as you go over like that it folds over like that um, with this bit here you might want to score it further out um, to make more of a flap to allow you to put more on the inside but that's totally up to you I'd finish, leave off decorating until you've actually filled up more of the, um, of the book and then you'll know exactly how much room you're going to leave for, for the book altogether so uh, I'm just going to do a bit more decorating in and once I've done that I'll come back. Okay so I've finished decorating the envelope flip book and, um, and uh, I've left the back quite plain so that it can sit down nicely you know it's just got a little label there and the pattern paper in the front I've got a few tickets, a little bit of lace, a cute little flower arrangement there um, some cutouts on the design paper and uh, I've closed up the envelope with a velcro button thing and because uh, it's got the flap so I thought you know well that'll probably just work out well I was going to do a, um, a belly band but I thought no <laughs> no so I just left it with the, um, the velcro closure and as you can see I haven't padded mine out too much I mean you can really fill these up if you want to but uh, um, I haven't and the whole idea of them is um, to stick them together with a um, washi tape so that things can be taken off and used again so um, here what I would do is uh, um, I've got a side pocket there and I put a little um, card in there just um, with some of my details and what I'm doing and introduction to myself and things like that so um, yeah in this I've uh, I've just made a little pocket here and um, got some little nice little tags and things to go in there on this one here I haven't made a pocket I've made some little little bags and put some little goodies in and, uh, and they flip up and back down and of course they are also washi taped ready to use and here I've got a little pocket and I've slipped in some ephemera um, just like that into the pocket so I've got a little bit of lace on the pockets I've detailed it around with some faux stitching um, here this is one of my little um, handmade embellishments I've got a little flip page there and it's it's all still um wash sorry I'm just slightly out of frame aren't I I'm having a little trouble um uh I altered the settings on my camera and now it's difficult for me to get things to I should really leave my camera alone it's like when I did my computer and turned off the sound so I couldn't do voiceovers it was like you know, I accidentally alter settings and then it takes me forever to figure out how to get it all back. So <laughs> never mind. So I've got washi tape on this one. This is another tag that can be used. It's got washi tape on. So is this one. It's got washi tape on. I've got a doily there and that's just popped down with some washi tape too. Like that. And uh, because I've only just glued this on, look, I've... Uh, lost that <laughs> so yeah the glue's still wet folks it's still drying because I have only just finished it so this is the back of my um, envelope flip that's the front that takes it out and you're back again to the beginning and you can fill these as much as you want to I mean you can stuff them full if you want to you can just try and make sure I don't flip off my button thing again my little um thing um I close these pockets with the design paper um you don't have to do that you can leave it as an envelope and then slip things inside 
I closed up my envelopes and you don't have to do that you can I'll just pop this there what you can do instead of closing up the envelope you can actually leave the envelope um, open and slip things inside there I decided not to because I wanted it to be a little bit sturdier of course you can fill you can just like load these pockets up however you want to but I decided just to keep it quite flat for ease of posting of course because the flatter you have for posting um, then the cheaper it is for you to post out so you fill them as much as you want to fill them because it's you paying the postage <laughs> but anyway I hope you like this uh, envelope um, envelope flip book flip album and uh, hope you make one too see you again soon bye